In this video, I'm going to show you how to add appointments and meetings to your Outlook 2010 calendar. And so obviously I'm using Outlook 2010. If you have a different version, it should be very similar to this, uh, especially if you have like uh, 2007. 2003 is going to be a little bit different, but ultimately it's the same idea. So I'm in my calendar and I have it set at the month view. This is how I prefer it. You can have it day, work week, week, or month, or uh, schedule. I don't have anything on my schedule though, so it's kind of empty. So I'm just going to leave it at month. And so if I want to add an appointment, maybe I have a doctor's appointment, I can just go up here and just click on this button, or as you can see the tooltip, I can do control N. And so here's where I enter my appointment uh, location doctor office and uh, so it just automatically bumps it to the next business day which is Monday so if it's going to be an all-day event you can check this box if not uh, okay so I'll just uh, it's from how about 8 to 8 30 and I can put any information in here about what might be going on there. If I want a reminder, I can set it uh, if, as far as two weeks or whatever works for you. If it's a recurring event, I can click on this and I can say it's every week on Monday um, from now until the end of time. Or I can set an end date. I can say it's monthly. Uh, the 21st day of every month, the third Monday of every month, or yearly. Whatever works for you. I'm not going to do that this time, but that is how you do it. And it'll just automatically show up on your calendar uh, in the future. Uh, I can add a category if I want. If, uh, you know, if, if maybe personal things are, you know, personal appointments are blue, I can do that. And uh, so I can do it that way. If it's I'm going to clear all categories. Uh, if it's high importance, low importance, if it's private, if I don't want other people who might have access to my calendar to see it, then I can do that. I want to be, I'm going to set it to out of office. And I'm going to set a reminder. So that's 8 a.m. Let's set it for a day ahead. Um, And that's all I need to do on this. Uh, if I want to change anything, if I want to add a photo, uh, whatever else I want to do, I can do that. But for now, that's, uh, that's about it. That's all I really need. So I'm going to save and close. And there it is. It's on my schedule. So then let's say Tuesday. We want to have a meeting with some people, so we're going to click on the date and click on new meeting. So this looks a little bit different than the appointment because it assumes that you're going to be sending it to people. So you can go in your to and add people. You can set them up as required or optional. So if you have people who need to be there, set them as required. If people can choose to join or not join then you can enter them as optional a third uh, option is resources and you can set up if you have a conference room or a couple conference rooms you can have those set up in here as references or resources so um, so instead of having people you can have you can save a room and that way if you have a shared calendar everybody can see that you're going to be using the conference room at that time so we're going to click OK and subject so meet about the thing location conference room one um, and so um, now a really cool thing to do is you can say hey when are you available when are you available you know ask everybody when they're available but when you click on scheduling, it shows you when people are available. Um, since 
since this is an, if if this was within my own uh, my own office, I would be able to see the schedules of every single person that I added here. Since uh, this other person here is an outside person, I'm not going to be able to see their schedules. But it's really handy to take a look and see what people's schedules look like, and that way you can find the best time to meet. So as you can see, that appointment that I just set shows up here, as, and it shows that I'm out of the office. Now to other people, I don't think that they are able to see what this says, just that I'm going to be out of the office. So I can find the best time to schedule a meeting with a group of people. And if I want to go, let's see, if I want to go back to the appointment and enter appointment info, or I guess meeting info, um, I can also include an attachment if I want to attach a um, an agenda. I can just type the agenda in here, but it's kind of handy to just use an attachment. Uh, I can set reminders, so maybe I want them to get a reminder 30 minutes in advance. And um, when I'm all ready, I can send. And the invitation will be sent out, and they can accept or they cannot, whatever they would like to do. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at sallyu.com. Check me out at Twitter. And have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.